everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the Vampire Lord from the Soul Blight Grave Lords range. Yes, here she is. She's awesome and I love it. And this is the first of my heroes for A Tale of Many War Hipsters Season 2. And if you don't know what that is, please do go and check it out and get involved should you wish to. It's going to be a good time out for everybody. <laughs> However, we haven't got much time to sit and talk about a tale of many war hipsters now because we've got a vampire to paint and that's exactly what we're going to do. She has been primed in Wraithbone and the colour we're going to be using first is Black Legion and we're going to be applying this over quite a lot of the miniature. So we're going to be applying this over the top of all of her armour, excluding a couple of little bits of bronze and things. So the kneecaps, for example. So like just this bit and this bit here and that little fan bit. We're going to be applying this over top of the handles of her weapon, so her shield and her mace. We're going to apply this over the top of the bats and we're going to apply it over the top of the inside of the shield as well. So with all of that black applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Shaiish purple and flesh terror's red. And we're going to apply this over the front of the shield. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this on. Just like this. I'm not going to worry too much about getting it over the top of that emblem on the front because we can just neaten that back up with some grey seer shortly. Grey seer? Wraithbone. That's what we prime this model with. Just like that. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to take some soul blight grey. I'm going to apply this over the top of the face. And with that done, we're still waiting for the shield to dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Coelia green shade. I'm going to use this to shade all the armour. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Baal Red and we're going to apply this over the top of that thing on the shield. Having neatened it up with some Wraithbone.
like that. And we're also gonna apply the bar red, of course, over all the hair. So with that done, we're just gonna wait for it to dry for a minute. And what we're going to do whilst we wait is we're going to take some thinned down Rune Lord brass and we're going to apply this over the top of all of those armor panels that we haven't painted. So for example, the knees, the elbows. We're going to apply this over the top of the trim of the shield. And that's about it. Aside from this pommel, which will be a bright red gem. So with all of that Rune Lord brass applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade all the red. The colour we're going to be using for that is Griffhound Orange. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of the mace. So with that done, all of our base coats are on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a shade. And the first one is going to be some Gorgrunter Firm. We're gonna apply this over the top of all of our Rune Lord Brass. Got some really nice deep shading here. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Nuln Oil and we're going to apply this over the top of the face and over the top of the silver. And so with that done, just to get her up to that War Hipster battle ready standard, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Rune Lord Brass once again. I'm going to reapply this over the top of our Rune Lord Brassy armor. And what we're going to do is we're going to avoid all the recesses.
So with that done, our vampire lord is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And she's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave it there. No, we're going to take it to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is some thinned down Sotek green. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the black armor. So with all of that Sotek green applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Temple Guard blue. And we're going to apply this to the sharpest points in all of the armor. So with that done, all of the black armor is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to that shield. And the color we're going to be using first is some thinned down Mephiston red. And we're going to be using this to highlight the dark field. I'm not going to be doing the design on it just yet. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to use this to highlight the sharpest points of this shield. So we're going to be looking for kind of this little edge here. And this one here. that one there I'm also going to look to apply this along those edges like that sort of thing so with that done, just before we finish off the dark part of the shield, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Troll Slayer Orange and we're going to use this to highlight the serpent on the front and all the hair. So with all that Troll Slayer orange applied, we're then going to take some Fire Dragon Bright. And we're going to use this to finish off all of our red details. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick out the sharpest little lines and edges down here on the shield. Like that sort of thing. We're also going to apply this to the absolute kind of pinnacles or apex of the shield red bits and we're also going to pick out some 
some of the hair strands as well. So with that done, all of the red is finished. So what we're gonna do is move on to the face and we're gonna take some pallid witch flesh. We're gonna use this to pick out all of the features. in the skin. So with that pallid witch flesh applied, what we're then gonna do is take a small amount of Griff Charger Grey, and we're gonna apply this over the top of the eyeballs and the bottom eyelids. Just a little bit of it. Across the brow. Like that. And with that done, we then want to take a really diddy amount of Screaming Skull. And we want to apply this over the eyeball. Like that. And like that. And with that done, the face is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and we're gonna take some thin down storm vermin fur. I'm gonna use this to highlight the bats. So with that now done, we're gonna move on to the next color, which is going to be all the silver. The color we're gonna be using to highlight this is some thinned down iron breaker. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Canoptic Alloy and we're going to use this to highlight all of our brassy armor. And so with that done, we've just got one last thing left to do, which is to take some Blood Angels Red and to apply this over the top of that ruby. And here we have it, our Vampire Lord is now finished and I can't think of a better way to kick things off for a tale of many war hipsters than with an angry vampire lady. 
I really, really like this model. I've liked it for a long time. I think it's really, really cool. I just really like the hair. I don't know why. And the shield is really, really nice as well. And I'm excited to get on with the Soul Blight Grave Lord's Army at last. Castlevania Dream. Here we come. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support me a little bit further, you absolutely can do. Head over to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And you can also become a YouTube channel member, just like this incredible bunch of folks scrolling up on the screen before you. There's a hell of a lot of you. And, well, I can't do this without you. YouTube and Patreon, you guys absolutely keep the lights on and make all of this worth it. Thank you so much to all of you for everything you do. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.